Hey everyone, I'm LC Gamer, and welcome back to Broken Pieces. In the last video, we uh, looked around close to the house, found a few things, played around in the park, and managed to find ourselves a uh, portal to some alternate reality, which I'm going to figure out what to do with. For now, I'm leaving it alone. Alright. So, what do we have over here? May the force be with you. Ha, 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 ha. Pieces. Uh, can I nudge some things around? I can picture you already rushing towards a solution which may not be I correct. Can. This one, great puzzles, lies an even greater man. in my very own George workshop to collect your prize. Well, if you can solve this. Something. Morning. Floating pontoon follows the movement of the tide. You are in front of the ingenious fisherman's gate, former contribution of the artist George. The gate is now only used to close, at the press of a button, access to the walkway leading to the Assumption Church. This gate has the particularity of being self powered and only works during low tide. Okay. This portal only works when the tide is low. Good to know. Which means I will have to come back here when it's low tide and figuring out what to do then. It won't open from this side. Oh, yay. I guess that means I got to, uh, use a bit of nest now. This portal only works when the tide is low. This portal only works when the tide is low. 
I thought maybe I can make it a low tide. Oh well. Alright, so I have a gear. I've made a path on this side. Got another coin. And I have a key. Although, I don't know where my key went. I picked up a key. Yeah, I guess I gotta go back now. This is as much as I can do on this side for now. Okay. Now I need to check something when I get back to the other side here. Hmm. Interesting. Not enough space. Okay. Just checking. Unpleasant. Chips. It says they're a health item. to the mushrooms and the cog for now. Yes, I am going to go escape this real fast. Oof. Every time I hear that, it just does not <laughs> sound. Come on. Like any effort was in put into that. Alright. What? 
going on here? I remember this place. That's where we first met, isn't it? I can't believe you made a song about it, Pierre. Nothing in the veins but Chardonnay. <laughs> Interesting. Is this a memory? Or a possibility? I have no idea where I am, but this place is incredible. Maybe that key opens that gate. I bought the ammo. This is exactly where Pierre gave me one of his concerts. I would love to relive this moment again. Yeah. I'm confused, and this music is disturbingly irritating. have enough of this ammo. Nope. Oh, oh I should get moving. to need something to break those. Yes, you're going to need something to break that. So that means I'm going to have to be coming back here quite often. I like you. You like me. We should hang. Oh, ha ha. I can't believe these axes are one-time use. Used X. Usable one more time. Alright. Oh dear. Something's definitely not right here. I have already seen this kind of setup. No way they could have been there before. Oh, this is creepy. <gasps> Ooh. Eldridge thing going by. really need to learn to run. What happened to all my ammo? locked. Now that door's unlocked. Isn't that nice? Planks removed. This should weaken this son of a brick. We both knew you couldn't resist me. Oh, huh, huh. You and your jokes. I don't have the axe anymore. I was 
well use the ammo here. Back off. I'm better at this. But they don't drop supplies. That would sure be nice. Let's try to push it now. Now the system should be unlocked. All right. I can't open this. This door needs electricity. So, where do I get the electricity from? That did it. Okay, now that's spinning, which means there's power going. And... The door should now be open. This is not a safe place. I remember this moment in my living room. We were both watching a documentary on TV when we discovered St. Exel. We only dreamed of one thing. To live by the sea and change our lives. Uh-huh. Okay. That was interesting. T minus ten. I still have time to go do a few things. Not much, but I have time. She has a jog, but no run. Trying not to lose track of time. Stop getting confused about where you're going. Okay. Came over here to grab this. <coughs> into an ice block if I stay like that. I need okay. to get warmer clothes at the house. Fast. Yeah, sure. It's like we instantly changed the season. But not for the better. 
Do you have any warmer clothes at back at the house? If not, we're in trouble. Take this route because that door is probably frozen. the door because of the snow. I noticed. Same on that side. I can still use this ladder. I've never seen St. Exo under this amount of snow. Find the positives, Elise. That's good. Hey, at least you can make snow angels. Right? Alright, now I'm back here. Ben? Where's it then? And it's time to head inside. There we go. Alright. I left my clothes in one of the cabinets in the hall. Uh, things to do, things to do. Two circuits. Yeah. Need help. A little perfection for the road. Not going out again anytime soon. Came in to get clothes and take a nap. But first I had to regain health. No, I should probably grab some of that firewood and bring it inside. weird. Day 19 since the attack. Alright. More tapes. not a phone, and you're not on the other side, but I make do with what I have. Uh, the evenings are long without you, and I, I miss our discussions. I'm locked up because of the monsters, so I have to find something to take care of. You'll never believe me, but I've discovered a new passion, making bullets for my pistol. <laughs> it has become my comforting little evening ritual, and then I read newspapers or documents that I found. I try by all means to discover information that would allow me to understand what is happening here. When I can't sleep, I sort my tapes and listen to your songs again. 
This is by far my favorite time of the day. Well, it's already very late and I have a long day ahead of me tomorrow. I'm going to bed. Sweet dreams. Well, she knows how to make bullets. Did I ever tell you about the sea column? It's the only thing I like about this hell. If you could see them, you would love them too. These are huge columns of water that start from the sea and rise slowly towards the sky, to infinity. They exude a feeling of quiet strength, serene power. They carry with them rocks which gravitate alongside them throughout their ascent. I don't know how to describe it, but I feel almost calm. I knew I had you somewhere. Looking at them. Still, I don't think we should be fooled Snow by closed. their placid appearance. Inside, thunder and flashes rage silently, reminding us that they are inhabited by a formidable energy. Moreover, they also emit strange and deaf noises, like a... Uh, like an animal cry, or a, a complaint? Anyway, I'm not the only one to be fascinated by this show. Birds and seagulls are attracted to these columns and flock to their base by the hundreds. They fly around for hours, as if waiting for something. I'm always afraid they'll get caught, but the columns are gentle giants. One thing is certain, I will continue to admire them from the cliff. Okay. It all started six years ago. At the time, I was still a student, and I spent the little- Yeah, I'll turn that back on in a second. Why is the water still running? Well, who cares? Oh, that's cool. The free time I had at the bar with my group of friends. In fact, we always went to the same one. We were happy there. What we particularly liked were the concerts organized by the small amateur groups that came by from- That circuit breaker inside the antenna. The cult was stealing them. They probably had tons of- I'm sure it was what was blocking the submarine's communication. The sect seems to know more than what Matthew imagined. He thought the devotees met at the Assumption Church. I will try my luck there. Time to time. Nothing very extraordinary in itself. But the atmosphere they created was magical and went wonderfully with our little evenings based on the cheapest beers we could find. After all, we were still students. And then, there was this group. They had been coming for several days and their music kind of hypnotized me. The type of rock that you don't forget and that I haven't forgotten. I must admit that the guitarist had something to do with it. His name was Pierre. There were always these moments after the concerts when the members of the group hung out a bit at the bar, but I didn't dare approach him, and I think he didn't either. The more it went, the more our eyes met, sought each other. I felt that something was happening. One evening, when the effects of the alcohol were strong, I no longer hesitated. I went to see him. From an outside perspective, it was probably embarrassing. At least I would have been. But that didn't seem to bother him. We talked for hours but it seemed like it was over in an instant. I could see he was shy, and when we left the bar, I grabbed his arm and kissed him. We shouldn't have parted on a misunderstanding. I love this story. Our story. But that doesn't explain why we chose St. Exel to fully live our lives together, does it? At that no, time, does it? Pierre and I were in our last year of college. We had already been able to take full advantage of the city and its agitation, and even if the years we spent there were fantastic, we really needed a change of scenery. A return to a calmer setting. Yep, that's what we needed. 
And it was when we were watching a report on a seaside region that we had the click. The landscapes were simply sublime. I always remembered what Pierre said to me at that time. Honey, okay, let's move. We just had time to finish our studies and put some money aside when an advertisement for a house for rent in St. Exel caught our eye. This song? Pierre had written a song about all that. Okay. Well. Any more tapes I should listen to? No, but the music I'll listen to later. Might be low tide, but I don't think that gate's working. Wow. It's completely surreal to see the submarine here. Only one destination for you? My bag. Ooh, shrimp. I'm gonna need you. I saw the submarine on a board in my basement. It is the French submarine of the Rorqual Service, which inspected the ocean floor off St. Exel. It arrived on this beach completely destroyed. Why? Good question. Let's take a walk, just you and me. The submarine was tracking something. Did this thing attack it? Maybe. Something else could be residing at the bottom of the sea? Another submarine? I doubt that. If ever the washing machine breaks down, I know where Pierre can do my laundry. Oh, uh huh. All right. I'm trying not to get lost here. Shrimp fishing guide. A fisherman must have forgotten that here. Some of these tips could be useful. I'm sure. The keys were built by the Duro family. Their house can be found at the end of them. To facilitate the management of water from the White Manor, a path leading to it has also been developed. Uh -huh. I might need you. Grab the cog. Alright. Now that that's opened, let's go change the weather again. Much better. Now I'm not freezing. Might as well save. Let's 
see if this is still open. And it is! Nice! I'm pretty sure that's not a good idea. No, you don't think so? Well, then how am I supposed to get across? There's one other solution I could use. I hope this works. Because I really don't want to see what the uh, storm button does in this weather. is just behind this gate. I need to get this thing working again. You can still see a cog was removed here. Hmm. Another mission for Elise the Fixer. Place a cog. Well, that's why I need the cogs. Before I go any further in that direction. Let's go this way. Can't really see what's going on. It's too white. I'm gonna need you. The tunnel collapsed on itself. You turn. Hmm. At least that's good to know. I still don't have a freaking map. Push this button in one. Oh my God, it's working. Weather, and then get it. Come back in another. Why is it closing? I'm sure it's because of these birds perched on it. Hmm. Shiny. And leave it alone. Stay open this time. No. Alright. See if this gets your attention. That's it. All the birds are busy. Stay this way, please. Just long enough for me to get this button pushed and get down there. Right. It's actually moving. I need to, you know, move quickly. Expecting that to fall. Don't know why. Just am. Oh. 
that's interesting. Okay. The church is close now. Tree cycle. Elise, if you don't understand what's in front of you, it probably means you were facing modern art. Funny. Left, Boisseau's Park. Behind, the beach. Right, Assumption's Church. Wait, don't I have a key to uh, one of these gates? Ooh, firecrackers. To the house, we'll take... George seems to have a particular skill for turning anything into... art? I guess. George's Museum. For the young and less young. Local museum, artisan workshop, exhibition hall. Exceptional summer event. Meet No-No the robot and take part in his treasure hunt. Interesting. Alright. Well, and... I don't see much. Let's walk with caution. Going to look around. I have a feeling that we can win gifts and they arrive right in this vase. Oh, yay. 1990. Inauguration of George's Museum in the company of St. Exel's Mayor. Always up to new challenges, the museum is located to attract people to an isolated part of the village. Facing the power supply issues of St. Exel, George electrically autonomized his museum. Behind all great puzzles lies an even greater man. Okay, that one was easy. Why was that one so easy? So you're Nico the robot. You don't seem super friendly for something made to amuse kids. Still, he and the museum look shut down for now. Well, I'll take a look around and see what I can do. Aha! Uh -huh. I think I'm going to need a lever. Yeah, I know. George! With the momentary storm, your windmill system went into safety mode and stopped. I wanted to reactivate it, but I couldn't put my hand back on the lever. In the meantime, the museum will remain in the dark. Well, joy. Alright. I wish I had a map. That's the one thing this is needing. I have no map. Reload, repel, interact, storm. Uh, orient camera. Yeah, there's no map. Move, watch, ammo change, tape player. Huh. Yeah, then you need a map of some kind. That's the one thing that this game is lacking. Alright, I think I'm going to leave it here for now. And I don't know. Continue on in the next video when I actually uh, figure out what I'm doing right now. So until then, see you guys.